welcome to City Skylines The Dev Diaries. Now these videos are based on the official Dev Diaries that can be found at the Paradox Interactive Forum and I'll include a link to them in the video description. Now in these videos I'm going to introduce you to various aspects of the game and chat about some of the more interesting and exciting elements and trust me there's plenty of those. We're going to start off in this episode looking at roads. Roads are a fundamental part of any city builder and they need to be easy to use, flexible and most importantly they need to simulate the real world as closely as possible. A topic that I will no doubt bang on about many times during the course of these vids. So how have roads been implemented in city skylines? Well let's take a look. City Skylines has been built using the Unity engine which is the same game engine that was used for Cities in Motion 2 and the developers are aiming for a very similar functionality to Sim 2 but with a few nice additions. I think the first thing to mention is that zoning is built into the roads. When you start laying roads you'll immediately see the zoning grid which appears on both sides of the road which makes it very easy to optimize your spacing if you're going for a dense gridded city design. Once the road's been placed, you can then fill in the zones with residential, commercial, industrial, etc. using a variety of tools. But we'll talk more about the details of zoning in the next episode. The road tool has three build modes for straight, curved and freeform roads. Which means that currently there's no mode for drawing circles or ellipses. Now, there are ways around that using the curve tool but personally I would have liked to have seen an ellipse tool added. A straight road tool also has a, a 90 degree snap feature which should make life a bit easier when building grids. The road building toolkit also features an upgrade tool which can be used to upgrade or downgrade roads and this tool seems to have no restrictions allowing you to upgrade from the smallest to the largest roads including road types with added decorations. The game features a wide variety of road types from small and medium roads to large roads and highways. Small roads are the basic road type for suburban areas and they have a lower speed limit and lower levels of noise pollution. And let me tell you, I love the fact that they've added details like variable speed limits and noise pollution to the game. These are genuine real world factors that were completely missing from other so-called city simulators. Medium roads and large roads carry a larger volume of traffic but in turn generate more noise pollution. And highways of connecting the different parts of your city together and to the outside world where the effects of noise pollution are, are not an issue and they have the highest speed limits. Now noise pollution directly affects the happiness of your residents and land values. But you can combat noise pollution produced by most of the road types by adding decorations. For example, you can add grass and trees to block the noise from small suburban roads or add sound barriers to your highways. And another aspect of the roads that reflects the real world is that they cost money not just to build but also to maintain and the decorative elements increase the maintenance costs. Wow, just like in the real world. One question that I know you guys will be asking is, does it have one-way streets? And the answer is, oh hell yes it does. What about roundabouts? Yep, just create a circle with a one-way road and you've got a roundabout. The attention to detail on the roads is pretty awesome. Several road types have parking spaces along the sides of the road which I think make the roads look so much more real and when you place a bus stop the game automatically creates a bus bay so your traffic isn't going to get held up just because a bus stops to pick up a few passengers. Okay, now it's time for one of my favourite topics, bridges. City skylines will automatically convert roads to bridges when crossing rivers etc. And each road type creates its own unique style of bridge. From very simple bridges to huge suspension bridges. Which I'm sure will feature heavily in my own cities. 
Okay, so the game will create bridges automatically, but what about if we want to do things manually? The answer, of course, is another resounding hell yes. You can use the page up and page down keys to create elevated roads of varying heights. Just be careful about the supporting pillars because they do actually take up space. Wow, just like in the real world. By the way, highways are actually one-way roads, so you have to build each side of the highway separately. And when you combine that with the ability to elevate the highways and add ramps with the highway ramp tool, we are going to be able to build just about any interchange that you can imagine. Oh, and if you like big interchanges, but you don't want to have to fiddle around building them yourself, there will be a set of pre-built roundabouts and interchanges that you'll be able to choose from and just plop down wherever you like. And yes, you can change them once you've plopped them. And if that wasn't enough, oh yeah, you can choose whether traffic drives on the left-hand side of the road, like sensible British traffic, or on the right-hand side of the road, like all the crazy people. Now, there are a couple of things missing from the roads as things stand at the moment. And please bear in mind that the game has only recently gone into beta and things may change before the final release version. Currently, there are no pedestrian-only roads and no cycle lanes. But the devs do have both of these items on their list for the future. So, let's keep our fingers crossed. So, that's the roads in City Skylines. And I think that... Based on what I've seen so far, Paradox have done a pretty fantastic job. I can't wait to get my hands on it. If you've enjoyed this vid, hit the like button, or better still, leave me a comment. And I'll see you for episode 2, where we're looking at zoning.